to add to what has been said. One is that the APA has had for many, many years a unit whose sole function is to deal with threatened departments. And it has been very busy since the financial crisis. But there is some hope. In two recent cases, we lost at Michigan State down the road from me, which it has ended its classes program, but we won at Trinity College in Connecticut, a small but noble institution. Um, so sometimes we win. One other thing that the last speaker made particularly vivid to me is that I've been thinking, listening to the talk about bean counting and so on, about how many distinguished American institutions have had classicists as administrators, as presidents, as deans. If you think of, for instance, Hunter Wallings, who was president of Cornell University. Uh, and when you are an administrator, yes, you have to count the beans. I think, though, that one reason classicists have often been superb administrators is that they want to think in the long term instead of the short, and two, that they follow a rule that I actually first heard from an economist who was a dean at Michigan, who said, I th always thought the way you budget at a university is that you put your values first and then look at your resources, and that you never go the other way around. So our hope is that here in the UK, you will have administrators who will be able to look in the long run and who, listening to the kinds of things that have been said all day, will consider how to make it work when you put what is most important first.